hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we want to look at the y pass questions on operations on real number system so without further ado let's begin so we want to look at this past question that is the y or the wasi november 2010 question number 12a and it says that the operation dot or the big dot we see over here the operation big dot is defined on a set of uh, numbers that is 2 4 and 6 by m dot n should be equal to the unit digit in the product of m and n so we are to i copy and complete the table that we've been given below and then i i use the table to solve the following equation that is alpha x operation 4 is equal to 8 beta e operation e is equal to e and gamma into bracket 4 operation f bracket close operation 4 should give me f so let's proceed to look at the solution to this problem now we're told that the operation is defined on a set of numbers that is two four uh six so we are looking at numbers so i will represent that by our real numbers two four and six and the definition of the operation given to us is m operation n is equal to the unit the unit digit in the product in the product of m and n now what this means is that let's say i have two uh two operation let's say seven two operation seven is equal to pair the definition over here it means that i have to multiply the two numbers but just pick the digit the unit digit of it so two operation seven per this means two times seven and it's equal to 14. now if you look at 14 the four is the unit digit the unit digit that is the ones so i'll pick four as my answer if it is two operation let's say uh 10 this will give me two times 10 and this will give me 20. so zero becomes my unit digit so i'll pick zero as my answer that is what the uh, operation means so uh, with this explanation let's try and copy and complete the table that we see over here so let me get rid of this so now that we've understood what the operation implies let's copy and complete the table so we have i so i have uh, my table here so i have this two and three and then this this and this so I have my operation I have two four six then two four six now let's try to do it ourselves uh, four operation four four sorry two operation two from the definition it means we have to multiply so it will be two times two that will give me four it's a unit digit so I write just the four two times four will give me eight so I just write eight but two times six is twelve so from here and here 2 times 6 is 12. So instead of writing the whole 12, I'll just write the unit digit, which is 2. So I write 2 here. Okay. So we can see that from the question, we have 4, 8, 2 under our, as our first operation. And then that is what I'm also having here. 4, 8, 2. So that is how come they got it. So now let's proceed. 4 operation 2 means 4 times 2. So I have 8. So I write the 8 here. 4 operation 4 means 4 times 4. And this time around is equal to 16 rather than writing 16 i'll just write 6. so we can see that from the question as well we have 6 at the bottom over here which means we are doing the right thing so the last one 4 times 6 4 times 6 that will give me 24 so instead of writing the entire 24 i'll just write the unit digit which is 4 over here so we proceed to do the same thing as well 6 times 2 will give me 12. I write 2 instead of the 12. 6 times 4 will give me 24. I write 4 instead of the 24. And 6 times 6 will give me 36. Uh, that is 6 times 6 is equal to 36. I write a 6 instead of the 36. So this becomes the completed table that the question is demanding from me. 
all right so now that we've completed the table let's proceed to look at uh, the ii aspect of the question now it is saying that alpha x and number operation 4 should give you 8 now which number operation 4 will give us 8 over here now if you look at it this is um let me use the numbers over here uh in this uh row so i have four over here so which number operation four will give me eight so i realize that two operation four will give me the eight that i can see over here so it means two operation four will give me eight so my x should be two operation four from the table will give me eight so this implies that x is equal to two that is from the deduction we have over here now for beta it means e operation e is equal to e what it means is that which number operation itself will give you itself again now if you look at it two operation two will give us four which is not two so it's not part four operation four will give us six that's not what we want six operation six will give us six so it means that six operation six is equal to six so therefore e is equal to six all right now let's look at the last one which is gamma now gamma is saying that four operation a number operation four should give you uh the number itself now if you look through the table let's see two two operation four is eight okay and we don't have anything eight operation four so that's out but if we take four operation two will also not uh give us that answer over here so let's look at four operation six so four operation six will give us four okay now that four operation four will give us six so let me take that again so we have four operation if the f is six okay operation four let's look at them if we are saying the f is six four operation four from the table four operation six sorry will give me four so these two will give me four now that four operation four four operation four will give me six which is the same number we've chosen over here so it means that if our f is equal to six our answer will be correct now let's look at four as well so if i make it four operation four operation four four operation four four operation four here will give me six that's six operation four six operation four will give me four this will give me four which is the same number that i have chosen over here so it means that if f is also equal to four it will work so therefore from here my f is equal to six and four or four and six that is my result for f so this uh is how we solve this particular problem now let's proceed to another example on this problem so we have given that x operation y is equal to 2x minus y where x and y are real numbers we have to find the value of i 5 operation into bracket 4 operation 5 bracket close i i y if y operation into bracket 3 operation y is equal to 6 very good so let's look at our solution to this particular problem now this is the wasi june 2012 question number 10 b now per the operation the operation is telling us that when we have any x and we two numbers x and y and we do this operation on it it should be twice the value of x minus the value of y where we know that x and y are members of the real number system so the i aspect is saying that we should do five operation four operation five so when it comes to problems like this you tackle them one after the other now five operation you maintain that because you have four operation five in bracket so you deal with the one in bracket first so we have five operation into bracket four operation five if i perform the operation on it it means that my four becomes the x my y becomes the five so it means twice the value of x which is twice the value of four so i have two into bracket four here minus the value of five that becomes here so i maintain my five operation over here 
2 multiplied by 4 will give me 8 minus 5. And then I have 5 operation. 8 minus 5 will give me 3. So I now I have broken the complex operation that I have at the top to a simpler operation. So now I have 5 operation 3. Now my 5 becomes the x, my 3 becomes the y. So I now perform the operation on it again. So this becomes twice the operation of x. So it becomes 2 multiplied by 5 minus 3. 2 multiplied by 5 will give me 10 minus 3. And that is equal to 7. So it means that from here, I, the solution to I, 5 operation into bracket 4 operation 5 is equal to 7. Now let's look at the I, I aspect of this question. It's saying that Y operation into bracket 3 operation Y is equal to 6. Now let's look at this. This is a little bit of an equation form. Now just like the way we solved the first one, we we'll maintain the Y operation because we don't know we have y operation, 3 operation y in bracket. So let's deal with the bracket first. Let's expand the bracket first. So I maintain my y operation into bracket. The 3 becomes the x. The y is still the y. So it becomes 2 multiplied by 3 minus y, bracket close. Then I maintain my 6 over here. So I still have my y operation here into bracket. 2 multiplied by 6, 3, sorry, will give me 6 minus y over here is equal to 6 over here. So now I have this. So the entire 6 minus y becomes my y and then my y becomes my x, if you understand. So this becomes a variable on itself. This also becomes a variable on itself. So we treat them, this becomes my x value and this becomes my y value. So it means that I will have 2 into brackets or 2 multiplied by the y over here then minus into brackets the y which is now 6 minus y and that is equal to 6 over here so I have 2y if I expand the bracket negative multiplied by 6 will give me negative 6 negative multiplied by negative y will give me positive y and this is equal to 6 so from here I maintain 2y here plus y is equal to 6 I send the negative 6 to the other side it becomes plus 6 so 2y plus y will give me 3y this is equal to 6 plus 6 will give me 12 so to get a value of y I divide both sides by 3 then my y value will be equal to 4 so this is the answer for I I so therefore it means that y is equal to 4 if the operation y operation into bracket 3 operation y is equal to 6 y will be equal to 4 so thank you so much for watching this is how we solve these operations on real number system now there are i'll be solving more uh, questions on these operations on uh, real number system so if you're new to the channel consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of these past questions on this channel so thank you once again for watching and i will see you in the next video Bye-bye.